Mr. Speaker, sir, I beg to move that this House do now resolve to oppose the implementation of the Uniform Civil Code in the state. Motion moved. Now you may initiate the discussion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, for allowing me to move this very important resolution. Mr. Speaker, sir, why I bring this resolution before this August House? The reason is that I had a vision if this uniform civil code is implemented or being operated fully as an act, then it will, it will have major impact on the interests of the minorities and the state as a whole. Mr. Speaker, sir, I'm very happy that during the summer session, the Cass Hills Autonomous District Council and the Gentle Hills Autonomous District Council passes resolution to oppose uniform civil code in order to safeguard, to protect the interests of the indigenous people as provided under the section of Indian Constitution. Mr. Speaker, sir, if uniform civil code is implemented, then it will affect the sixth schedule of the Constitution of India. If UCC, uniform civil code, is implemented, it also will affect the lawmaking power of the District Council as, as per Para 3A mentioned that the District Council has power to make law on land. Number two, power to make law on inheritance property. And number three, marriage and divorce. And number four, the social custom. Mr. Speaker, sir, if uniform civil code came into, it will affect all the lawmaking of the district council and might be diluted. And hence, the power of the district council will be greatly affected. Mr. Speaker, sir, it will definitely have an impact on the traditional custom and usage of the indigenous people of the state of Meghalaya. The indigenous people, be it Khasis, Jantias, and Garos, has their own custom and traditional on marriage has their own traditional inheritance property. Marriage and divorce, succession, adoption, guardianship, etc. that are still strictly followed till then. The custom and tradition is one of the unique identity of any particular tribe in the state of Meghalaya. But sir, all this custom and tradition will be diluted and slowly it will disappear. 
as a result of the uniform civil court came into the chairman sir moreover what is more sensitive to the sentiment of the people if uniform civil court might affect the religious ceremonies followed by different religions for example the christian communities from various denominations followed the christian marriage act whereby under this act the pastors priests elders are fully empowered by the district council to be the marriage license holder Mr. Chairman, sir, if uniform civil code came into effect, the power will be taken away, and the magistrate, the magistrate or the officers of the state, will be the only license or license holders or register holder. Mr. Chairman, sir, the sacramental aspect of marriage in the Christian community also will be diluted. Mr. Chairman, sir, I am afraid that family breakdown will increase day by day, and it will have it will have huge impact in the society. Mr. Chairman, sir, the National Law Commission, after taking the public consultation, the report was submitted in the year 2018, and it has clearly stated that the Uniform Civil Court is not needed. Mr. Chairman, sir, I personally, as a legislator, and one of the leaders of the state, I feel that we should be more aware of the impact of the Uniform Civil Court, where private members bill were being brought in the Raja Sabha and Lok Sabha. Henceforth, I henceforth call upon the interests of all of us to reject the Uniform Civil Code as it is not needed in a bill of state. I'm very happy to see that our Chief Minister, Honorable Chief Minister, in the last few months, he has stated that Uniform Civil Code goes against India's identity. I hope that our Honorable Chief Minister Give his word on this matter. Mr. Chairman, sir, some of my friends asking me why you move this resolution. Since they have not yet tabled in Parliament, and not yet pass the bill. Mr. Chairman, sir, prevention is better than cure. 
I'm happy to see that in Mizoram, in Kerala, and also in the state of Nagaland, they have already passed a resolution against the implement, implementation of uniform civil code. The question is, why not in our state, Megalia? Mr. Chairman, sir, once again, I request to all of us, as the members of this August House, as the responsibility leaders of the state, I request to all of us, let us unite. Let us stand together and let us pass a resolution to oppose the implementation of the uniform civil code in our state. And also, let our state government urge the union government for exemption of implementation of uniform civil code in our beloved state. Mr. Chairman, sir, I hope and I believe if the government of Megalia pass a resolution to oppose the implementation of UCC, Uniform Civil Code, it will be a blessing for our state. It will protect the interests of the minorities and indigenous people in our state. Mr. Chairman, sir, I will not take much time. With these few words, I once again request to all the members, let us unite and let us stand together and let us pass a resolution to oppose the Uniform Civil Court, implementation of Uniform Civil, civil Court. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.